Here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to Moomin land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There with the moments There were 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 the moments Ba 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 Captain Blood and his band of feared pirates had sailed the seas for many years, but never could he remember a storm such as this. He began to wonder whether his ship could withstand the battering and buffeting of the angry waves for much longer. Alas, tis now too late to launch the lifeboat, he thought, as he lashed himself to the wheel. His voice rose against the wind. Captain Blood can think of no better death than to journey to the bottom of the sea, losing the last battle against his old adversary. But if only I could save the life of the young and beautiful princess who I rescued from the Duke's galleon before I sank her. I care not about the three chests of doubloons, two chests of jewels, and 36 bales of the richest and most colorful silks. But oh, must she too perish in this terrible storm. Is it a good book, Moomin? Mmm, it's great. What a terrible storm. It's not easing at all. No. I'm so glad I'm not on my own on a night like this. I feel safe in Moomin House. Oh, what was that? It sounded like a tree breaking. Hey, Moomin. Mm hmm? Why don't you read your story out loud? Oh, okay. But can I start where I got to? As long as you tell us what's happened before, we won't know what it's about. And we might have missed something important. Just the main points will do, Moomin. Well, there's this brave pirate. Oh, it's so much fun when someone reads out loud. Go on, Moomin. Captain Blood and he and his men have captured a rich and royal galleon. <clears throat> They've taken lots of gold, silver, and jewels and things. And, oh, yes, a princess, too. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes, it is. The storm that rose that night was so violent that at first it seemed inevitable the ship found her before the waves had engulfed it. Not bad, if I say so myself. Captain Blood saw that the poor princess had indeed swooned. With only the rats for company, how frightened she must have been down in the hold. The noise of the storm was deafening as the ship was thrown about on the swirling sea. The captain's brave heart went out to his young and beautiful captain. Could I have some tea, Mama? Of course, dear. Would you like me to bring it up to you? No, thanks. I've finished for the day. That's good. Shall we all have some tea and lemonade? Yes, please. I'm very thirsty. You read very well. Thank you, Moomin. Great story, isn't it? Could I have some strawberry juice, please, Mama? Snork Maiden, when is your brother coming home? Oh, he didn't say exactly, but in a couple of days, I should think. It was a good idea to let Snork Maiden stay while he was away, wasn't it, Papa? Yes, it wouldn't be very nice to be all on your own at night in a storm like this. Hmm, not at all. Seems to be sinking. She won't be able to hold out much longer. We must get to the crew without delay. How can we launch a boat in this weather? Any survivors? We haven't found anyone yet. So what about further along the coast? Any reports of survivors turning up? No, I'm afraid not, Inspector. We haven't heard anything. 
Well, tell me if you do. Uh, Inspector? Yes? Uh, it seems to me it was a pirate ship that sunk. What did you say? Well, I'm pretty sure I saw the skull and crossbones flying from the mast. And I think I caught sight of a cannon, but I could have been mistaken. You must be joking. I never joke. I can't see anything. It's too far away to make out any sort of skull and crossbones. Try this. Ah, you've got a telescope. Now, why didn't you let me have this before? It might have helped. <gasps> oh. 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 That's it. She's gone. I suppose that there aren't many pirate ships around today. Any that are afloat must be so old that they'd probably break up easily. That's if it was a pirate ship, but it sure looked like one right enough. Nothing's been washed up on the shore yet? No, not a thing. Isn't it strange that I was reading that book about pirates yesterday? They probably wouldn't be quite so romantic in real life. Well, in the book, they were really great. I wish I'd been one. A pirate? Yeah, what could be more exciting? You can't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. To sail across the seven seas, the holds of your ships crammed with treasures. But you'd have to steal the treasure from somebody first, though, Moomin. Well, yes, all right, I suppose so. But I wouldn't steal anything from anyone. <laughs> then you're just a sailor, not a pirate at all. <laughs> Moomin, Mama, do you know where Moomin is? Um... He's probably in Snufkin's tent. Oh, yeah? Snork, maiden, I have a letter for you. Here you are. It's from the Snork. Oh, thank you. Wait a minute, little Mai. I want to read Snork's letter. Take your time. Oh, what's the matter? It's Snork. He's coming home today. Oh, that's nice. But Moom and Mama, there's no food in the house at all. Now don't worry about that, Snork Maiden. I'll rustle up some dinner for us, and Snork can tell us all about his trip. Boom and Papa would like that. Oh, thank you, Mama. Snork doesn't like missing his meals. He must have got the part sooner than he thought. Ha! That's great news. Then he should finish his flying ship soon, hey? I guess so. He should make it into a pirate flying ship. I could be his first mate, and no one would be able to catch us. Nobody at all! Not here. Oh, dear. I wonder where they've gone, little Mai. There's nobody here. Moomin probably wanted to go looking for an adventure. I bet they went down to the beach to see if anything's been washed up. At least the hangar's not been damaged. Let's go down to the beach. We might find a treasure chest. <gasps> what is it? I just thought I heard something. Where? From in there. Hmm, weird. Oh, I know. The snork must have come back. Oh, yes. Snork. Of course. Hello, snork. Oh, snork? Are you in here? It was actually a pirate ship. It was indeed, Moom and Papa, and we caught the pirates when they swam ashore. Do you think you captured all of them, Inspector? Well, of course, we don't know exactly how many there were to begin with. Hmm, right. We'd better barricade ourselves in Moomin House just to be on the safe side. Oh, dear. And I suppose I ought to stand guard over my greenhouse as well. Nice be made, so. Come here, you little pineapple! You let Snork Maiden go, or you'll be sorry, you great big hairy bully! No, not on your life! The wench is my hostage! I need her to make good my escape, my bucko! Then you only have yourself to blame! Hey, what? Blame? 
Stay where you are now. I will not be bitten again. Keep away, you little cat. Well, don't hurt her then. Hurt her, you little shark. She's a hostage and a comely one at that. She'll be my safe passage out of these rough waters or perish. Well, then you better take me instead. Because I'm much easier to carry. You, huh? Nobody would care if I fed you slowly to the shrimps. Oh, yes, lots of people when you overstep Windbag. All right, all right. Hold your head, Wind. Blow me down. Now, what's your name, girl? I'm Little Mike. Well, I'm Captain Rumpod. Now, go and get whatever authorities you have in this backwater. Hurry, my patience is short. I'll only go if you promise that you won't hurt Snork Maiden. Of course I won't. If I find that you've hurt her in any way at all, my revenge will be terrible. All right, all right, all right. Captain Rumpot, you are surrounded. Let Snork Maiden go. Do you hear me, Captain? To a gold button landlubber like you, never. She's a good looking wench, fair skinned and nicely rounded. Pirates prefer blondes. Give me a ship and you can have her back. What do you say to that, my bucko? You're on your own, Captain. We've got all your men locked up tight. All me crew? <laughs> You're the last one. Now let her go immediately. Thank you for saving me, crew. I feared they were all lost. Don't thank me. They're all in jail. <laughs> Some would say it's the best place for them, but not me. Now let them out. I need them. And a proper ship. Oh, with two masts and fifty cannon. And no tricks, else it'll be worse for the girl. <laughs> this is too much. The school for constables didn't tell us about this. What shall we do, Inspector? Please get Snork Maiden away from him. I'm afraid he'll hurt her and she'll be frightened. I'm trying my best, but it's very awkward, all this. I've not come across anything like it before. Oh, but it's not her fault that his ship sank, Inspector. I know, I know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I should have been a gardener. Hey, are you still there, you ruffian? Let my men go and get my ship! Two masts and fifty cannon, mind! Look, Captain Rumpot, I'm afraid that times have changed. Sailing ships don't have cannon these days. Shiver me, Timbers! How do you sink each other, then? Now, don't try to fool me. Remember, I've got the girl! I think Moom and Papa has an old blunderbuss I'm sure he'll let you have. I don't know if it'll work, though. That's all I've got. I'm warning you, Pea Brain. This is my final word, so listen well. You have two hours to get the ship ready to sail, and all my crew with her, mine, or else I'll... Now, don't worry, my pretty one. I won't harm a single hair on your head, but I must have something to threaten them with. Or else I'll feed her to the hungry shark. Ah! Hush, girl, I won't hurt you. Are you sure? Either I get my ship, Oak, 50 cannon, and at least two masts, or she'll be food for lobsters. It's your choice, me hearty. That should do it. Oh. He sounds as if he'll do it, too. Two hours, he says, or he'll feed her to the sharks. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What will Snork say? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. I have a great idea, sir. Why don't we climb onto the roof, drill a hole, and then drop something on his head? You know, Constable, I've always thought you were an idiot, and now you've proved it. Excuse me, Inspector. If we set fire to the hangar, then they'll have to come out, won't they? Shut up! Why am I surrounded by fools? Oh, this is no good. I must calm down. I must calm down. Captain Rumpot! Can you hear me, Captain? Aha! You found a ship already, have you? Well, no. There aren't any real sailing ships in Moomin Valley. The chief constable has a yacht. He doesn't usually let anyone borrow it, but I'm sure in this case he... I want something big enough to take me to the Spanish main, I warn you! Calm down, Captain. Calm down. Now, just listen to me. 
you haven't done anything wrong here, no pirating or such like. So if you forget about the boat, we'll let you all go. Think about it. Free to go anywhere you like, on foot, of course. The fresh air, the sun on your face, no worry of shipwrecks, no storms at sea. What do you think we are, huh? We're pirates, not highwaymen. It's not so bad being a highwayman, you know. There'll be lots of rich travelers on the other side of Lonely Mountain, I'm sure. And lots of adventures with jewels and gold and... Stay me with flagons of rum, you chicken brain nitwit! Nitwit? No, nincompoop, dumbbell! I'm Captain Rumpot, scourge You're of making me very angry! If I had you on my ship, you'd dangle from the yard arm, you'd walk the plank! The inspector's losing control. We had better calm him down. What the plank would I? And in my prison, you'd get no butter on your bread and maggots on your biscuits! Uh, please calm down, down Inspector. With the pirates, sir. Sir. Oh, yeah. Calm down. Now take it easy. And you get sure. no tea with your water. I'd see to it that the bread was mildewed! That's 30 minutes gone already! I warn you, Gold Button, now there is only one hour to her painful and horrible death. <sighs> Cheer up, Snark Maiden! Try and hold on! We'll get you out! Water? Water? Huh? What did you say? Water, please! I'm so thirsty! Water? Nasty stuff, still. Hey, landlubbers! Compliments to the galley! The young lady wants a drink! All right, Captain. I'm coming, Snark Maiden! I'll take it, Inspector. It's too dangerous. You must leave it to us now, Moomin. Just a minute, Inspector. I think we should let Moomin go. And I've got an idea that just might work. Snuff him! It'll take an awful lot of courage, and you'll have to do it all on your own. Do you think you can do it, Moomin? Of course. Splice me, made raise. What's taking them so long? Keeping a young lady waiting. It's all right. I really don't mind waiting. Tell you the truth, I could do with a drink myself. It's thirsty work, shouting at idiot policeman. Don't you worry, little one. They'll be here soon. Get me a drink, too, you hear? And quick about it! I've brought you something to drink, Captain. Right, come on, then. And no funny stuff. Don't worry, I I'm on my own. Have you got a drink for me, too? Yes, Captain. All right, stay there and put down the tray. The bigger one is for you, Captain, and the little one for Snark Maiden. Now move away. That's far enough, stay there. Hmm, why is it so red? Well, it's strawberry juice. It's very good. Mm. I'll be polite. She can drink from this one and I'll have hers. But, Captain, there's not enough for you in the small one. Strawberry juice isn't exactly my favorite tipple, you know. No, the small one will do. Here you are, young lady. No, no, Snark Maiden. Please, don't drink it. Why not, my young bucko? It's not poisoned, is it? But don't be silly. Poisoned? Oh, no, no. Perhaps a sleeping potion. <gasps> hmm, as I thought. I deemed it mighty strange that two cups were prepared. You drink it. Oh, no, 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 sir. I'm not thirsty at all. What's the matter, me lad? You said the drink wasn't poisoned, didn't you? So drink! Move in! Aha! You're her swain, are you? I shall never understand women. Anyway, one of you will have to drink it, and now! Not her! I'll do it! I'll do it! Give it to me! No, Moomin, don't! There's something in it! You'll be poisoned! It's all right, Snork Maiden. It's nothing dangerous. Don't worry about me. Now drink it! Huh? That's it! Drink up again! Down the hatch, me lad. You're lucky it wasn't poisoned. Mm, yeah. And no sleeping potion, neither? 
No, nothing at all. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. oh Moomin! Oh, no, Moomin! You're not, my pretty one. Your wimpy little Mo is just taking a nap. He'll be right as rain soon. And he thought he could fool me. Me, Captain Rumpot. The cheek of it. Well, I'll have the other one. Hmm, not bad. Oh, no, I'm sorry, young lady. They'll have to bring you another. Shall we order one without the draft? They'll be surprised when they see me still on me pins. <laughs> Wide awake, not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's go and give them a surprise, huh? Oh. <laughs> It's all right. I I'm okay, Snork Maiden. There's nothing in this drink. Would you like some? Oh, Moomin, you mean you? Well, I was pretending. So I convinced you too, huh? Oh, Moomin! <laughs> Captain Rumpot didn't wake up that day, or the next. And when he did, he had a terrible headache, which served him right. The inspector let all the pirates go after a week. Well, they hadn't done any pirating in Moomin Valley, and wouldn't be doing any either. Not without a ship. They love the laughter and they love the living, the Moomins. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the Moomins. They're always happy and always at play. The Moomins are having fun day after day, the Moomins. The laughter and they love the living, the moonlands. Believing and sharing and caring and giving, the moonlands. They're always happy and always at play. The moons are having fun day after day. The moon.